a skit. Please, a round of applause for the Sheen Sisters and Company. I love this tie. I love Bob Tomato. And I'm wondering, if you win $500, will you spend it on better ties? <laughs> that was really rude. <laughs> what would you spend it on? Look, do you see all those people over there? Till I divide it up with them, there's like nothing left. <laughs> Good luck with this, all right? Can I have that? Oh. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's see. I need to get organized here first. You may talk amongst yourselves for a moment. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me tonight for a live presidential debate hosted by HSA. I, your own beloved ranting reporter Raquel from the Weekly Rant, am moderating. Are you tired of the same old politicians over and over? Well, tonight we present three homeschooled graduates campaigning for president on the platform of truth, Kiwi, and the American way. But first, may I introduce Mary, our official lurker, who is here to prompt us to have proper audience reactions. Let's practice. That's good, okay. Thank you, Mary. Now, our first candidate tonight is Mrs. Non-Calamity Jane. She is an efficiency expert with a background in home management skills with special emphasis on sibling arbitration. <laughs> our second candidate down on the end there is Miss Jerusha Calvin Arminius Augustinian Erastus MacArthur R.C. Cola. <laughs> How did you fit all that on your driver's license? Well, I... Never mind, just tell me later. And finally, we are blessed to have with us tonight a sweet young lady named Blessed Betsy, who raises goats and chickens and llamas. <laughs> Any words from our candidates before we start with questions? Um, I want to be a mod. I want to be a mod. This is not a tiny chat. There is only one mod because I am a tyrant. Now, <laughs> let's proceed to the questions. Let's see. Our first question tonight concerns the economy. Mrs. Non-Calamity Jane, you claim to have special prowess in dealing with low economies. What is your secret? Thank you, Raquel. In my administration, we will all be clipping coupons. I have this wonderful system for clipping coupons. I have an expandable folder that's divided by alphabet and across divided by category. And, and then, oh, and last week I saved $87. $87, people. $87 using coupons. My plan to boost the economy is for coupons for everyone, regardless of your marital status on HSA or how many times you've accidentally been engaged on tiny chat. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Ms. R.C. Cola, would you give us your plan for helping the economy? Well, I go by the ancient Greek maxim, Maximus Taximus Homeschooler Alumnus. What does that mean? It's a system where people pay taxes based on the number of posts they post in round table. Um, um, Betsy, can you weigh in on the subject of the economy? Well, I've noticed that there are so many things that can be made better if we just grow our own instead of depending on huge corporations and stuff. So my plan for the economy is to grow some money on trees. Organic trees, organic money. Let's go green, really green. But that means getting rid of all that nasty institutionalized money that's polluting the system. So y'all can just give yours to me and I'll get rid of it for you. <laughs> Now, our second question is the issue of world peace and where to send American troops. Some people feel that our troops have become the world's neighborhood watch. Mrs. Non-Calamity Jane, what is your opinion? Well, for my voting populace, I have a long background in sibling arbitration, parental enforcement, and I also have a disarming personality. Here is my basic plan for world peace. Number one, absolutely no jumping on the bends. Number two, no name calling. Three, no playing with matches. And number four, no running with scissors. And lastly, give everyone 
a frying pan. You've been watching that dumb Tangled movie, haven't you? <laughs> Don't talk about my hair like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ms. R.C. Cola, your thoughts on world peace? Abraham Lincoln said, the man does not live who is more devoted to peace than I am. Lincoln was a tyrant! But I thought you said you were... Well, I am, but anyway. Um, <laughs> Betsy, what is your plan for world's peace? Well, I found the most peace from when I indulge in something really fun and relaxing. I think everyone needs to find their passion and just enjoy themselves. ECD. Yes, actually, that leads me to my next question, folks. There is a national craze sweeping in across the nation, taking over town halls every Saturday night. I'm speaking, of course, of the new love of ECD. Can you each give us a comment on that? ECD ought to become a national art, and ECD groups should be started in every city for the benefit of single young ladies. <laughs> What's ECD? It, oh, it stands for Exclusively Courtable Daughters. <laughs> Would you recommend ECD in place of joining a matchmaking site? Well, if they're here at the reunion, they're already on HSA, and isn't that like a free matchmaking site? <laughs> I'm not in favor of matchmaking sites, because you know there was this one matchmaking site I was on where there was this one guy. And? That was the problem. There was one guy. <laughs> You found a dating site that actually had a guy on it? Oh, which one? I gotta sign up. After all, there's a pastor here. <laughs> um, does he spell? Does he chew gum? What was his name? Was it was it that Mitch Warren guy? <laughs> his name? Pat Hedick. Pat Hedick? And boy, was he weird. Oh, oh that Pat Hedick guy. I've heard about him. <laughs> well, let's see. Uh, we're running out of time, so here's our final question for each of our candidates. What would each of you do to promote nonpartisan politics? I feel that to promote nonpartisan politics, a president must form relationships on both sides of the aisle, regardless of whether you walk that aisle from free will or predestination. I'm willing to extend the hand of fellowship to both Calvinists and Arminians, even right, though right, I personally am not. And that's fine. That's fine. This is non calamity, Jane. Well, uh, yes, thank you, Raquel. Uh, mostly, I don't want any bickering between the sides. Everyone will get an equal slice of the pie in my administration. Uh, as soon as Mommy's finished cutting it up. But tantrums will be promptly dealt with with a long sentence in the timeout chair. Betsy? Well, I just want everyone to vote their conscience. The lesser of two weevils is still just a nasty bug, and we don't want any weevils around. <laughs> well, okay. Um, thanks, everybody. We hope to see you all at the polls. Okay? Okay. Standing by. Good job. Good job.